Hi friends, so in this video, I'll be going to cover about the formatting rules and uh, sections, uh, which has which was covered in earlier earlier my uh, video, which is unit four. Uh, so the uh, theoretical section uh, I have covered there. So for the practical section, please video uh, watch this video and the earlier video. You can find the link in the video description. So, what is formatting rule? So, to just to explain means if some of the data which we just wanted to highlight for some specific conditions. So, for that purpose, we can uh, highlight the data with the formatting rule. So, let's uh, let's uh, try with the example. I'll select a new document with the universe um, E fashion, and um, So let me take few objects here. Um, just select, um, then let's see state, and let's see. I'll add a sales revenue here, and click on run query. So once I select these objects, I'll see uh, this is. So suppose um, if the revenue is uh, exceeding some uh, specified limit or it is below par that. Uh, uh, limit then uh, the data should be highlighted so how we can achieve this we can go to the analysis tab in the conditional formatting there is a new role option we can where we can select so on which so suppose i want to to have in a sales revenue i'll just select sales revenue then if it is less or equal uh, let's say 100000 uh, dollars uh, that's what i wanted to have and if in the so these are the three components filter objects or cells on which we wanted to highlight operator is nothing but whatever the operators we see is in list or equal to not equal to greater than equal to like that and the value we can specify either a constant value or some specified objects from the filter and the format will be this is the format suppose i wanted to display some formatting here uh, which we can add our text so suppose I wanted to have this text in a different format. I wanted to have a bold and italic. I wanted to increase the size as well. And I wanted to uh, underline this as well. Suppose I wanted to underline alignment also. We can specify left, right or whatever. Top. So this is one background also we can specify there is no if you want to specify we can just click on here we can give this uh, background uh, suppose I wanted to give this background as uh, hello and click on ok so border also if you want to specify then we can give the border otherwise we, we can just keep as is and click on ok. So, I guess it is not. Let me check means what is the uh, conditional uh, value which I specify less than or equal to is 100,000. Is that value is there? Let me take, let me take uh, 92,000. See now this, this has been uh, changed. Okay, so manage format. Let me go back. I'll just make it as see whatever the value which is below 100,000, uh, it is it will uh, get highlighted. So, whatever the formatting we have specified. So, this is the way we can apply the formatting. We can uh, specify multiple formatting as well. We can add if I want to add here. Uh, means we can specify suppose we can specify new rule. Um, so that way we can add more whatever up to 30 formatting rules we can apply to a particular uh, document and up to 10 uh, rules we can apply to this uh, particular table or a block. Okay. 
so the one more thing important related to this formatting rule is it cannot be applied to the charts it, it will be applied to the only uh, tables and uh, sections like that okay so the next lesson which i wanted to cover is related to the section so section is again one more important thing means let me take one uh, new document i'll add here quarter State. Let me take another field, sales revenue. So section is like grouping the data in the whole uh, document. So uh, we saw breaks. Breaks is uh, groups the data within the block, and opposite to that section, uh, section groups the data within the uh, whole document. Okay. So how we can apply the section? So if i want to apply a section on um, break so what what i can do we can just drag this section on the top level so if you see for year this got changed for year wise the data will be displayed so this is one way let me undo it now the other way is i, I can right click on this and i i can say as set as section so if i say set as section for year wise it, the data will be displayed so year wise the data will be grouped and it will be applied to the whole uh, document okay so let me do, there is one more uh, option which where we can um, apply insert section so if i want to add a section means i can uh, go back go to the report element tab uh, in the section and i click click on insert section and just select once i select this i can select mouse on which basis i want suppose i want uh, on straight basis so see for california the section has been added so these are the different ways uh, sections can be applied to the report so based on section means we can add a, a subtotal and a grand total as well so how we can add it we can go to the actions analysis tab and in a sum section means i can just select sum so for particular state what is the total okay. so this is the total which is it is showing we can um, how uh, this uh, subtotal based on each uh, state or whatever the section we have set okay so this is the way we we can um, add uh, sections and um, these are very useful while uh, displaying the data and it will be uh, useful i mean suppose we wanted to nav navigate from one section to other section so if you see this is sections formatting and if you go to the report map see if i want to get the data for each state means suppose there are uh, many um, sections uh, values then uh, it is hard to uh, scroll down from here so in that case means we can use this report map where we can select the uh, state whatever you want okay so this is related to the uh, sections and i have covered about the formatting rules as well i hope you uh, must have understood this if you like my video then please please subscribe to my video and thank you for watching